That's a little weird coming back to the PS4 controller after playing on Xbox. What's going on here? Thanks for tuning into the video. Today we're going to be showcasing the PS4 footage from last Saturday's event. Well, I guess not last Saturday's. Two Saturdays ago already. Last Saturday we held the anniversary event, which went very smooth. Definitely got some good footage. I didn't have any new PS4 tracks made specifically for this event. And since so many of the GDM guys did come out and show their support, I allowed them to uh, pick the second track out of their collection so we would showcase that. Oh, that was not a bush. Okay, can't go through that one. I was expecting a little more give there. I don't know if I've actually ever ran into that. You need to make a new track. This one's old. Yeah, this one is a little old for sure. Only made two when I started to come back. And uh, like I said, I spent all my damn time making the one track when I was supposed to make three of them here recently. So. I got a question. Why did you put the hump in the middle? A little jump right there. It's a little jump drift, but it's very, very aggressive. A little bit too aggressive. It makes me sad every time I hit this corner, and I hit that corner a lot. Flying around everywhere. So first track went smooth, Gordo Peaks. You can download that one in the track download link playlist on the channel, along with many others on PS4 and Xbox One. How long did it take to like make you uh, take to make this track? How long did it take to make this track? Yeah. Uh, this one's just an average one, probably a couple hours, two, two and a half hours, probably. Maybe sometimes I can get it out in like an hour and 40, but it just it usually suffers a little quality. Anyways, we'll catch up with you guys in the end of the video and kind of go over how everything went and what we're looking at for updated information on the channel. I, uh, I got a pretty big track coming over here, though, that should be a lot of fun for one of the future events here. And that's what I spent all of my damn time on. I spent all the... I had a full day set aside... Oh, sh**. I had a full day... Yeah, that was that was a brutal crash there. I had a full day set aside for making tracks here this past week and ended up spending the entire day making one track instead of three. I was supposed to make one over here. I was supposed to make one for Xbox and then also was supposed to start on the other idea I had. It was just... Uh, yeah, it's a replica track of something that actually exists and I wanted to do it as well as I could for... Um, scale and it was just a struggle everyone's pretty well split up right now aren't they groups of two i was like where's the train at there isn't no train everyone's really split up I, I, I gave this thing a banshee. Uh, you can keep the banshee. I got another one. 
Ja, mein Bond. <lacht> <laughs> so much spinning Come out on, on that one. Come on, not again. <laughs> I don't know where the line is. You guys is. are gonna kill the YouTuber just because you guys can't drive. <laughs> I just got. I thought I was clear and just got leveled by two people. What's your favorite fantasy is? Drifting. I haven't drifted this in a half. Definitely made it a point to like really be on top of uh, any kind of any kind of bullshit. Any time anybody pulls, we're just right on top of it. If it's like super out of line, we just ban them and that's it. They yep. just ban for life from all of our events and parties. Some of the time, it's just people that are just like kind of have fun and troll people, but some of the time, it's just like you said, like that kind of attitude of uh, you know just not really pushing shit forward. So. Absolutely. You know, so it might not. It might not be to nobody to get banned from our show, but if somebody gets banned, it's for some good reason. So, you know, we really appreciate when we uh, when people use our stuff like to show show that support. Like, hey, these are these guys. Like, I met some people in the community that re refuse to credit people or tag people, and it's like, okay, then, well, then we're just not gonna fuck with you then. <laughs> like, you're not gonna credit us. For yeah, that's a great like point. That, you know? That's so a great like, point. Yeah. We're really big on that, like, so we gave us a huge shout out in, uh, after we last spoke, so that was really big, we really appreciate that shit, so. Awesome, yeah, well, you guys deserve it. Now, that was a very short segment of the long chat that Blunt's Proper and myself had there in this event. Um, got a really good feel for what they are and who they are and what they're about, and guess what? It's the same general blueprint that we've always laid out on the channel, so... Definitely not tolerating any toxicity, trying to push forward the community, building the community directly by doing events and building teams and things like that. And guess what? That is exactly what we need to showcase. That is exactly what we need to build more of. And that's exactly what will revive this almost completely dead 
community right now. And yes, I said it, and you're going to see a video coming up very soon on that this week. Should make for some interesting content. Not what this video is about, though. We'll sum it up here, guys. Banshee Bash was a hit. We will be holding a Banshee Bash probably quarterly, so like four a year, where it'll be strictly Banshees, nothing but Banshees, and um, just kind of showcasing that. I plan to have other recurring events as we move forward as well, but I don't want to fill up all my slots with uh, doing that. The anniversary event, of course, it will be yearly, every anniversary for the Black Sheep TV channel sometime in April, beginning of April. And we'll end it up with some information on the anniversary event, actually. Everything went very smooth, had a blast at that event, had a really good turnout as well. We're definitely making an impact of reviving some of these drifters to come back and get back to it, and that's really what we're shooting for here. With that good turnout also marked the end of the launch interviews for the Hoon Stars. I have 11 interviews in. It was a pretty good turnout, and I have people from across the world, from France, from South Africa, to across the entire North American continent. So the Hoon Star team will definitely be seeing its launch very soon, and, uh, well, you guys will be hearing more information on that. The LZ Compound was supposed to be published on Saturday. However, I forgot to publish it prior to the event, and I just never did it afterwards. So we'll do the actual video where it's the download link. It'll go into the uh, track download link playlist, and and then you can point people in that direction to download it. So with that said, guys, I appreciate everyone that did come out to both of these events, the one I'm talking about now and the one you're watching right now. Definitely appreciate that. Appreciate everyone out there in the Drift community that is holding events and attending events. You don't have to hold events. You don't really have to be a part of a team, but just attending events is big right now. And as we move forward and people really do start establishing more teams and more larger events and competitive events make a return with a good judging system, I think then you will see a full revival of this Drift community. But as much of an influence as I have, I can't be alone on this, guys. As I said, we need attendance at these meetings. We need you guys to come out and show support. So if you do Drift in GTA, you want to learn learn how to drift in GTA, and you just support the motorsports community. Get out to these events, show face, and support it. Of course, if you have not subscribed to the Black Sheep TV channel, go below, subscribe to the channel, and leave a like if you do enjoy this content. As always, hope you all stay happy out there. Please stay positive, and we will definitely speak to you next time.